Gary G with the Inland Valley News. As the Lakers have triumphed for the first time of the season with a golden victory as they defeated the visiting Charlotte Hornets. Leading scores: Kobe 21, Jeremy Lin 21, Carlos Boozer 16, Jordan Hill 12, and Ed Davis 10. Fantastic beginning for the Lakers. Stay tuned for videos and interviews to follow. Boozer and Lin were eight of nine in that quarter. Were they to you noticeably more assertive? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, we, we, I think we did a much better job facing that ball. We made a real conscious effort to post a boost get him out early and run it out early. Do you feel like that was their best game as Lakers, Boozer, and Lynn collectively? Uh, yeah. Together. Because what do you think is the key to, to replicate this kind of offensive balance and the defense that you're talking about? Um, just continue to get better at it. You know, there's certain things that we need to improve on. We're not standing around and watching. You know, we have the ball in the post. We have the ball jumping up the ball. But we've been setting things for each other. And, um, you know, the tests just get harder and harder. You know, Memphis is uh, you know, it's not going to be, you're not going to have matchup advantages with you know, Zach and Mark. This whole past week of practice, like what was kind of just the overall message as far as just what you guys need to correct? And what? And just figuring out the puzzle a little bit in terms of how you want to play. And, uh, playing off the ball. How badly did you need this win considering the stretch of games you guys have come up? Well, I mean, you know, like I said, you've got to start something. You know, we know what the challenges that lie ahead. But this game, I don't really think about those too much. You've been playing bad starting. Or, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if we went out there one week. Is too much made if you guys want on fire? I don't know. I don't know. I listen too much. The team goes on fire a lot. She made us. <laughs> Kobe, did it feel good to hear the We Want Taco chance tonight? First time in a while? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kobe, can you talk about going on the road now really? with the momentum from this win? Well, I mean, you know, I think the momentum comes from the fact that we did some some positive things. But there's things that we can do better. So I think the momentum comes from wanting to get better. Kobe, how much, if at all, has your vision for this group changed from the beginning of the year? It continues to change. I mean, it's with every team. We continue to, to learn some things and figure things out and where to put down. Depending on matchups and stuff like that. You know, so, um, it's constantly. Um, you said there's things you can do to improve as a team. What's at the top of that list? Playing off the ball. You got to get much better at setting things off the ball. We're reading our split cut action, our elbow action. We're getting easy opportunity shots out of that offense. Needing guys to match the relentlessness that you have. What's the learning process that goes into that? Um, it's just uh, it's just a mindset. I mean, it's a lot different you know, being here in this city with this organization you know, than it is with some of the other ones. You know, when a all cost mentality is something that's not very familiar around the league. You know, I mean, it's a success for us with the division or with the Western Conference. They just don't fly out. Talk about the balance scoring, if you will. Jordan Jordan had double digits. Uh, Carlos stepped up with double digits. Lynn, 21, man. Just playing off the ball, man. When that happens, you get a lot of guys having contributions. Uh, yeah, it's just playing off the ball. You talked about just like you lost five, now you can win five. How, how much of a reality is that becoming now that you got your first one? I mean, won this one, I really want to miss very well up there. Looking forward to the challenge and taking that game.